What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video here, Chris's MMA Universe. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the fight that's happening June 6th with Amanda Nunes versus Felicia Spencer for the Featherweight Championship. Let's just cut to the chase. Amanda Nunes is going to embarrass Felicia Spencer. I really do believe that Felicia Spencer has nothing for Amanda Nunes. Yes, she is a full-size featherweight. She is very, very capable on the ground, especially, you know, she has re very great submissions. But I just feel Amanda Nunes is a little too well-rounded for her. Like, uh, I just feel that Felicia Spencer, yeah, could definitely bring her size as an advantage into this fight. And, of course, she has skills, but I just don't see her being enough to be able to defeat Amanda Nunes. I believe Amanda Nunes is not only just the, the greatest female fighter, which you cannot debate it. Amanda Nunes has beat the who's who and went down murder's row and beat every women fighter that's worth beating. That is a champion. She beat also the current flyweight champion. I know a lot of you guys out there don't like that whole situation because they feel like, you know, uh, that Valentina Shevchenko was kind of giving it to Amanda Nunes or arguably could have went to her, uh, you know, with their second fight. But regardless of how anyone feels about that, Amanda Nunes still got the nod. So she still has beaten every woman fighter that was worth beating, every former champion, every champion. I mean, it's, you know, champion versus champion against Cyborg. And she is not only the greatest female fighter, I really do believe that she is one of the greatest, period, ever. Amanda Nunes is one of the GOATs of the entire MMA roster, no matter what stage we're talking about here. But UFC is the best of the best, right? UFC is champions of champions where... UFC is the biggest stage, but not only that, has the most elite fighters and has the best elite fighters. Amanda Nunes is one of the greatest of all time, not just under the female roster. We're talking greatest of all time, definitely up there. And I'm now I'm not going to say she's the greatest fighter of all time, but she is one of the greatest. And there's Really no way to argue it. You you can't argue it. You know, she has beaten... I mean, I, I believe that she has done things that other male fighters haven't done. I mean, we're talking a two-division champion that has been defending both titles. Now, I know you can look at Henry Cejudo and say that he did, you know, similar things. and But, but you know what? Henry Cejudo is one of the greats, of course especially after his last fight against Dominic Cruz. But, you know, because his resume of his latest fights were just phenomenal. Yeah, I mean, that's a very impressive resume. But Amanda Nunes, I believe, is a little bit, it's just a touch more than that. Because, you know, we're talking bantamweight and featherweight. Bantamweight, the, the bantamweight division of the women's bantamweight division is the most stacked division. That's like the most... I would say that is, the, you know, that's the very first UFC women's division. But I believe that that one was and still is like the most active division of, of the women's roster. And to, to just show what she's doing as a featherweight champion and bantamweight champion is just something that I don't believe any other champion is doing. I mean, because if you look at her competition, the people that she has beaten, in comparison to other people, yes, of course, you could look at Henry Cejudo. You could look at John Jones. But it's just that, you know, as a double champion, she is fighting everybody who was either a champion, a current champion in the flyweight, like, like Valentina Shevchenko. I'm not saying she fought her in flyweight. I'm just saying that Valentina Shevchenko is the current flyweight champion. But we're talking current champions, former champions, and a champion versus champion. I mean, it's, you know, it's just the list goes on and on. And now they're just feeding her pretty much, you know, just fighters that are just on the roster. Like, you know, it doesn't even matter who it is now because what's the point? Amanda Nunes has nothing left to prove. 
Amanda Nunes could retire now and go down as one of the greatest, period. One of the greatest ever. But now she's going to go up against Felicia Spencer. And I honestly believe this is not going to be any heavy task for Amanda Nunes. I honestly believe Amanda Nunes is going to win this fight. I'm not saying that it's going to be incredibly easy. But I don't think it's going to be even near as hard as fights that she has just previously done. I mean, it's just this is just something else. I mean, look what she did to Holly Holm. She knocked out Holly Holm with Holly Holm's signature move. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just insane. You know, it's just insane to think that these women can come here that kind of don't even deserve to be in, 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 the, in the cage with her and just think that they're going to strip the title. Now, do not get me wrong. Anything can happen in a fight. I know I said it before. Everybody says it because it's true. Anything can happen. Felicia Spencer could go in there and shock the world. I just don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. I'm not saying Felicia Spencer is going to go in there and, you know, be afraid or anything like that. I'm sure Felicia Spencer is going to go in there and be ready. But I just don't think it's going to be enough. And I honestly do believe that Amanda Nunes, even though maybe the fight might not be as incredibly simple, because what fight is, right? But I do believe that. Amanda Nunez is going to embarrass her. I do believe Amanda Nunez is going to walk out with her hand raised and win this fight pretty undecisively. Now, I know I'm saying that, that she's going to go in there and embarrass her. That doesn't necessarily mean that she's going to go in there and win the fight easily. But I do believe that she is going to go in there and show the world why she is the current women's world champion, featherweight and bantamweight. This is the featherweight championship on the line for UFC 250, June 6th, and I really want to know what you guys think about this fight, who do you think is going to win, and how. Make sure you hit the like on this video, stay safe to everybody out there, stay safe, stay home, and I'll see all you guys in the next one.